Hello everyone, my name is Sofia Gomez from the University of Texas at El Paso and I'd like to take some time to talk about the project that I've been working on this summer on the optimization of machine learning models for molecular dynamic simulations. And so the main goal of this project was to learn about how to optimize two machine learning models to perform quick and accurate molecular dynamic simulations. And so to track how the optimized models performed we compared uh, the mean average error of both networks. And so the machine learning algorithms that we used were the Tang Dijong marginalized graph kernel and the Euclidean neural network. A background about both of those uh, machine learning algorithms. Um, in Tang's graph kernel, the crystal is taken as a graph of two ordered sets. And so the first uh, contains the atoms that are symbolized as nodes. And the second set are the interatomic distances that are represented as edges. In the Euclidean neural network, the model is, is an equivariant tensor-based neural network. The geometric tensor is to be filtered by the spherical harmonics that are input into the network. And the output will actually have an equal or higher symmetry than what is input. And so the equation below uh, describes how the convolute Evolutional filters are applied to the learned radial functions and these filters are the spherical harmonics. The methods that we used for this project, uh, first off we used the BCC iron system to train our models. We used a 4x4x4 four by four by four supercell that contains 120 atoms. We also utilized quantum espresso to calculate the energies and forces at iron security temperature at, of 1043 Kelvin. Using the Euclidean neural network, uh, we refined our data sets to minimize the training set size needed to train the model. And so the spherical harmonics are the functions that can be applied to the, each convolutional layer. Using the Gaussian process regression model, uh, we applied it to Tang's kernel and we measured the similarity between each graph at each time step. And so the nodes in each graph have a starting and stopping probability. The compact shape uh, was optimized and it converts the interatomic distances into edge adjacencies using this equation below. The W is a decaying weight function and sigma is the length scale factor between the two atoms I and J. And so for our results today, um, we are comparing the mean average error of the using the Euclidean neural network and the GPR to train our data sets. And so first in the Euclidean neural network, you'll see that uh, we have a training set of 400 data points and 600 test points that are already trained using this model. And the test error varies from 0 0.05 to around 0.12. So this just concludes that we can use this model for molecular dynamic simulations. Similarly, we plotted the mean average error for the trained data using the GPR model. Uh, we use the same size training set. And however, we optimize some other parameters in this model. For here, we optimize the alpha, which corresponds to the fitting of the data. And we also optimize the shape of the adjacency matrix, as I uh, described earlier, which is the compact bell. So then here we observe a uh, mean average error from around 0 0.005 to highest of 0.12. So again, uh, this concludes that these two models will help us to achieve our goal of calculating molecular dynamic simulations. Thank you.